So, hey, what's up? Morning, afternoon, evening. Where have you at? Same sports. Wild Wednesday. Why is Wild Wednesday is why sit home and hold out? Why pit your position, your team, your family, your future, your career, and your money all on the line by holding out? Clowny. I personally don't think Clowney should be sitting home holding out. 2014, number one draft pick. Three times Pro Bowl, 205 tackles, 29 sacks, five forced fumbles, two defensive touchdowns, 11 pass deflections. Like, he has numbers on numbers on numbers. Now, his defense. He should have got paid. Yes, the Texans should have paid him. But they hit him with the tag. And in the business aspect, I need you to show up. Let me help you get your money. But in the meantime, come show up. This team needs you. You are a key part to this defense and us helping us win that championship. I need you here. I don't need the distraction of Oh man, is Clowney gonna show? Hey man, I'm playing this position right now. Am I gonna stay here? Well, he's sitting home, but like, man, fuck it, I ain't going in. They don't pay me, I ain't going. And it's just too much extra noise, extra attention, extra media. And today we have Dennis here to help us explain or break it down or try to change my mind on what should happen. So Ignite thinking podcaster, Dennis. Now to you, young fella, young fella. Listen, Clowney was the number one draft pick in his class. Clowney, throughout the years, felt as though he lived up to the hype. Now, other people are getting paid besides him. D4 got paid, got an extension. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, Marcus Lawrence got his extension, you know. After holding out. Money. He a $107 million motherfucker, and he got a long-term contract. Right. Clowney got one year, he gonna get paid about $14 million in his transitional tag. If Clowney get injured, that's it. He got $14 million, and that's it. Ain't nobody else gonna get it. If it's a major injury, I'm saying. Then they gonna start putting, oh, he got the injury bug. Oh, he ain't the same person he used to be. And now you got to watch how you play and make you not want to play. All right, so I get that. But the whole now, it works for some people. It doesn't work for everybody. So, who says it's going to work out for clowns? That's why Le'Veon Bell ain't playing. That's why, you know, other people, you know, are skeptical about that. Look, look at what happened to Earl Thomas last year. Earl Thomas was on that shit and blew his fucking knee. And now he's not even getting paid his top safety. Look at, you know what I'm saying? Now he got it. He had to go to Baltimore and get a, a okay safety. Pick, watch it, watch it. Don't do that. Pick. He's a top safety. Don't do that. You see what I'm saying? And then look at what Lionel Collins got from the fucking the Redskins. That's what Earl Thomas should have got. But he sat there and said, you know what? I'm going to play. I'm going to be here. And end up blowing out his fucking knee. No, everybody looked at that shit and said, no, I'm not doing that shit. I'd rather do what Le'Veon Bell did. I'll sit the fuck out for a year. I'll take that loss of $14 because I know I'm going to see 60 later. All right, so. <sighs> holding out. Ups and downs, right? Come to work. You take them chances. You stay home. You also take them chances. Where is the line? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how to explain what I'm saying. But you cannot sit home. You can't sit home. Yeah, Bell got paid, but what is he going to do this year? We don't. No. 
And the crazy thing is that he took a damn pay cut. But that's neither here nor there. We're not talking about his pay cut. We're talking about him sitting home. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I get it, yo. Everybody wants to be paid and secure and things like that. But you got to come to work. So, um, holding out, right? Let's say you say I want a new contract. I need a new contract. Now, I'm going to come. But I want my contract by such and such time. Just like uh, uh, Russell Wilson did. Russell Wilson gave him a deadline. I don't want to go into the season all the distractions. So, you show up, and I will help you get you your money, correct? You're going to give me my shit. You had a whole three months to give me my shit. Maybe even, I think, four months, if I'm not mistaken. No, you had a whole three months to give me my shit. Obviously, you're not going to give me my shit. That's the, that's the thing about it. And we see motherfuckers' careers that be a little short. On some shit, you be like, damn, what happened to them? Oh, yeah, they got that injury, and then, you know, that was the end of it. Hell yeah. And motherfuckers, yo, motherfuckers be going broke. And you talking this shit about your Davion Clowney, he go, he get that 14 million, blow his knee out, he can't play the same no more. Then he just trying to get these little two, three million dollar contracts, maybe even one million dollar joints. They ain't adding up, motherfuckers done cut him. They come 10 years down the line, this motherfucker serving. You know what I mean? At the cashier at Walmart. And you're like, yo, that's your Davion County. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's what you go to school for, correct? To get another degree, you know what I'm saying? So you can have a backup plan because this shit don't always work out for us. I mean, it, it, ain't, it ain't always here for us, you know what I mean? So some people make it, some people don't. So every year, 250 people get drafted. And out of the 250 people get drafted, a hundred of them are fucking about it there by the end of the year. I mean, all right. So let's um, switch over. Let, let, let's, let's 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 switch it up. So let's say we're gonna stick with Clowny. Give Clowny a contract. He go out there week ten. He get hit, boom. He done. He can't play no more at all. We didn't get this man $70 million, and now he can't play. What are we supposed to do about that? Explain to me what we supposed to do about that. Man, they got shit in the contract that they can get their money back for. And, and it's probably not that it's always guaranteed. I think it's only guaranteed if you play that year. The signing bonus and all that shit be guaranteed. And they got incentives. They could give him a contract to the point where he'll be all right. But give him a fucking contract. That's the whole thing. They ain't even gave him a contract. But I think then they, you know, I was just saying he get that Khalil Mack money, which is like $152 million or something like that. Or was it 100 125 million? I don't know. Don't get me a lie. But they get that Khalil Mack money, right? They blow his knee week, week 15. He's no longer able to play football. Alex Smith blows his knee. You know what I mean? Like his bro. They got infections and shit. So he may not play again. What they, I think what they do is they put him on injured reserve. Or they put him somewhere to where his salary doesn't fuck up the salary cap. I forgot what it's called, though. And then they just keep going. Alright, so. Holdouts. Remember when Kirk Cousins playing for the Redskins? Franchise tag. He still played. Franchise tag. He still played. What the hell they do to him? Like, that shit pissed me off. Like, he was loyal as a motherfucker. He came up. He did exactly what I'm saying. He did exactly what I'm saying. Show up, play. Show up, play. We got you. We got you. I will get you your contract. Just show up and play. 